Josh Randall. I'm one of the creators of Black Hour. Uh, I was one of the haunters that was featured in Haunters, uh, the John Schnitzer documentary, and so we were doing a little bit of a panel talking uh, about the movie and what went into it. So I teased a couple projects in the panel. There are two things that are coming up. Uh, there is a new Blackout show that's going to be happening in the next month, maybe two months. Uh, definitely getting ready for the Halloween season. Uh, and then independently of Blackout, I'm working on a new show, more on the theatrical side. It's an immersive radio play version of In Cold Blood and some of the events that happen uh, in that story. Uh, as always, the, the blackout information is, is, is parceled out oh so um, sparsely, and so I urge people to stay in touch with blackout uh, on the Facebook page is, is really the main source of, of information. Uh, but it is going to start in LA. Um, it will be traveling uh, over the period of, uh, over a period of time, but it will be starting in the Los Angeles area. Not too many people are going to get to experience it, unfortunately. Um, but if they stay diligent and they want it. <laughs> probably get it. Yeah, I think uh, what's happening right now in the Los Angeles market is tends to be a little oversaturated in some of the things that are happening and, and a lot of lines are crossing and you have a, a lot of really amazing creators and uh, a lot of really amazing theater people that are starting to create these really full-blown experiences that are super exciting and are pushing this whole immersive haunted theater thing in a new direction and I think Blackout was a really strong leader within that community for several years we've been running for eight years now and um, there are other things that we are wanting to work on and so we've taken this opportunity to kind of step back let uh, the other people push the, the the genre forward see really see where it's headed um, allow the audience to kind of be democratized a little bit and and be a little choosy in terms of what it is they want to see um, I think for a long time black out was probably the sole outlet for, for that um, crowd and now there's so many different versions that uh, we wanted to let that happen um, and also to, to see where the audience uh, started gravitating towards, to see where things are headed and, and I think what we're doing in the next couple of months will potentially start answering those questions. In Cold Blood is a story that I've been attracted to for uh, an incredibly long period of time. Uh, the, obviously the Truman Capote novel is, is what everybody's most familiar with, um, but it is based on a true story and what's fascinating about it is that as, as a, a true crime story, it is one of the first crimes that we have so much information. So many of the police files, the photos, the, uh, the crime scene photos, and, and, and then following it all the way through to its conclusion. So so it's a story I've been interested in and I sort of had some inspiration in terms of how I could tell that story, what my take on it would be. Um, and I've started collaborating with some amazing artists to kind of put that together. And, you know, we're, we're really excited. I, I think it's something new for the Los Angeles immersive theater community. And it kind of melds a lot of the, the different aspects that some of the shows are working with now into something new. And hopefully, you know, really exciting and um, thrilling and engaging, maybe a little scary, but uh, really just kind of touching and, and um, effective is the hope. The show is called The Last to See Them Alive. Uh, it's, there's a Facebook page for it, um, and they can get in touch with us through Facebook. And again, the show is called The Last to See Them Alive. Awesome. Well, it sounds like you've got a lot of exciting projects coming up. Thanks for taking time to speak with us. Thank you. We look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks.